Hello and welcome to another game with Empire. I know, we've seen them a lot today, but this is actually the last time that we, we will see them today. At least uh, for this uh, Star Ladder match. They will be up this time against uh, 3D Max in a Star Ladder Season 4 encounter. And uh, this time, I actually have it updated as in this one. Look at that. Would you look at that? So we have got Empire, who is at the bottom of the list right now. But if you take a look at that, you see that they have played six games, and they've only wa lost one of them. So they have, uh, they've got fi 15 points, and we're going to see if they can make it to 18, as they are slowly making their way up to the rankings. They were, of course, a very low earlier today, because they only had uh, four games played then, but now six, and they're going to have seven games played at the end of the day. And we will, if they win, be on the same level as Navi and Mouse Sports. So uh, that will be uh, that. As the Navi and Mouse will be back from tomorrow onwards. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're up against 3D Max. 3D Max, who's already at 18 points, but they have played nine games. So they have played two games, uh, or three games even more now than Empire. And we're going to see if they're going to be able to go to 21 points to uh, join uh, ranks with uh, Virtus Pro, or if they're going to be uh, stuck sticking around uh, the 18 points if they lose this match. And uh, we're going to see. How they're going to be doing this. By the way, if you want to check this uh, rankings out for yourself, you can do that at dota2.starletter.tv. So uh, check that out if you want to. As uh, we'll jump ourselves into the draft where we see the bounty that are being picked up. Win already for Empire as we had bounty and Templar Assassin, a combination that is very dangerous. Of course, uh, if you, I mean, both of these heroes around level 7, 8 for Templar Assassin, bounty Hunter will be level 6 by then. Track kills and mid game dominance. <laughs> is all there for Templar Assassin and, uh, and Bounty Hunter. We have the Bathrider, Magnus, Wisp and Undying being banned out. 3D Max has decided to pick up a Darkseer as the first pickup with a Jakiro as their second and could still go of course for that Sven in the pool but they rather pick up the Queen of Pain of, as a counter towards the Templar Assassin in the mid lane. There is the Sven. They're still being picked up, but by uh, Empire this time. So basically, they have their three lanes sorted. With uh, the Sven gonna be on a duo or trial lane for Empire. We're gonna have the Bounty Hunter on a solo lane and a mid lane for Scandal, of course, for Templar Assassin. As uh, we're gonna see what 3D Max is gonna ban out on that one, because I mean, their their decisions to ban is it's gonna be a lot easier right now. They either have to decide like, okay, you know what, we don't we don't want to see this support and this support with it, for example, the Shrek. Yeah or uh, keep Prop Light in this case if they want to go for Twilight and if you're expecting also maybe still a jungle hero coming off from Empire then you might ban out the Enigma and the Chen uh, as the Chen now gets banned out and of course uh, that's uh, Goblax hero being gone at least or at least uh, a signature hero of him we have got in the meantime on the other side um, I mean it's pretty obvious what 3D Max still needs they need a dual lane slash tri lane uh, so they need carries so we see a Chaos Knight being banned out, as well as the Tiny. And this is actually the first time that I don't see Goblak banning out that Broodmother uh, yet. It might still be possible, but I don't think it's going to be fitting into 3D Max lineup anymore. So uh, that's probably going to be that, as we're going to see the last ban out coming from a 3D Max. And that's going to be uh, the uh, Rubik and the uh, Naga Siren also, the last one to be banned out. But the Rubik also support together with that Sven that you don't want to face. Uh, I mean, there's still a little Shrek and still a Lina in there. Two heroes that are very strong together with the Shrek. Shadow Demon there, though. That's going to be a trial for 3D Max. And there's still the Shrek and need together with the Sven. But if you're going to have a Shadow Demon against the lineup for uh, for the Sven and the Shrek, Shadow Demon is basically the anti-gank. So if there... If Sven goes on someone, you can just disrupt the target to make sure he stays alive and and then just uh, gonna be able to do their thing as we'll see what they're gonna pick up as their carry we still have of course the faces void in the pool if they want to uh, we, st we don't have to Sven anymore because that's picked up and the reason I say faces void is because at, at least he's able to do something against that Sven uh, we also have the life stealer also considered as a counter to that Sven we're gonna see it though they have got all their uh, bonus time left so um really not that uh, that interesting as in um, or interesting it's interesting but they can use it they can use it all even if they already know what they're gonna pick up they can just annoy Empire or just decide how they're gonna lane it even though it's pretty obvious how Empire is gonna lane that Luna. and there's the Luna actually as a carry Dying nice pickup 
I have to say though, the thing that you do against the Luna is you pick up a BKB because I mean her Eclipse is just very strong. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be worth it. Luna is, is considered a glass cannon. So A, if she can't hurt Sven with her Eclipse when his BKB is on, two or I mean B rather. <laughs> um if Sven hits her with his God Strength on, I think she's gonna be a two shot. So it's going to see how it's going to work out. I may try to go for an aggressive trial lane perhaps as Empire could still pick up that Enigma if they want to. Uh, Sven Lashrek is already a strong dual lane but maybe they just want to go for more. So I'm just going to drink some water while we wait for them to pick up their hero because they're also ticking into their bonus time right now. Wow. Support Nick's assassin. There, that had to be done. As uh, we're waiting to see uh, everybody picking up their hero, and then we're going to jump ourselves in the game. So we're already switching over this just so we don't miss anything. Go on. Go on. Taking their time. Ten Sweet time. Remaining. Nyx Assassin support. I mean, you have triple Five stuns. It's going to be very ba bad for uh, 3D Max, depending on who's against there. Because, of course, yes, there's a Shadow Demon. But the thing is, when you have a Shadow Demon, on your um, on your lane, I mean yeah, he can defend you and can disrupt you if you go uh, if you get assist uh, an well get a grass on. But if it's shadow demon, that's gonna be the one that takes the stuns. He can't do anything, and then he's gonna be dying. Even though of course the Jakira will still be there with the ice pass, so they have a lot of anti ganks. But it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult regardless. As uh, of course, if you have that ice path, I mean, Lashrek stun might still be going through and stuff, and you have even three stuns going off. So. It's gonna be uh, that's gonna be that. As uh, we're waiting for everybody to to pick up the hero, we have a disconnect coming up from 3D Max. So let's take a look at Empire first before we do anything else. We have Godlack picking up his uh, Nyx Assassin. Scandal we're playing of course Templar Assassin. I mean who would thought anything else? We've got Phonic on the bounty hunter. No real surprise there. Blow your brain on the Sven once more, and that will leave silence on the Lashrak who's taking a bow as he appears, or maybe a sniff in the ground or something. Could be. Probably sniffing the ground. Not sure if that's nice though. Anyway, uh, for 3D Max, it's going to be Hassan Joe Rutland playing the Queen of Pain. Noya is going to be playing the Luna. Ace will be playing the Darks here. Hayek is going to be playing the Jakiro. And uh, that will mean that the last hero, uh, that will be uh, the, the Shadow Demon, that will be played by Hawaii. So that are all heroes picked up there by uh, 3D Max. Well, I say picked up. But I actually mean not picked up because, of course, it's not picked up because he's dis disconnected. Sorry, but he knows. Anyway, here's the thing: is uh, 3D Max gonna go for an aggressive trial lane? I don't think so. Nah, they, they can't. Not against the trial lane that Empire has. So it will be Ace that will be the one to try and dodge all the stuns, trying to run away. If he gets caught out, that like one stun is gonna lead into three stuns. There's no way you can be out of that one to search yourself away. It's just too much. But it's going to be interesting. We don't see a Nyx Assassin uh, assist support every day. As we're still waiting for Hawaii to reconnect back into the game. But yeah, Luna against the Sven. Interesting. Not the hero that you would think about inst instantly. Uh, if she gets farmed though, and she is able to attack then she is going to be able to do a lot of stuff but at the same time we'll look at the 3D Max's lineup and they can't do anything against the BKB target so that is interesting as we have a go, no, because there he goes, picks up the hero Scandal really wants to go though might have some problems. Oh, try go. Luna, pick up Lunar Blessing first. Interesting. 
Normally you see loose and beam first though. Hmm. Interesting. Extra damage. They all go top. Even the the shadow demon, everybody. Gonna have scandal mid, of course. Funny long lane, solo lane. Blow your brain, gonna be supported by silent. And of course, go black is gonna support it there as well. I mean, their lanes are just very straightforward. No real surprise uh, there, as we're gonna see smoke up for 3D Max. Can they shut down someone, maybe a bit, from Empire? Get that first blood going. And there they run in. Here's the ice path. Gonna hit on Blow Your Brain. If he gets a stun now, though, I mean, Lashrak already stunned too. They were so grouped up and they weren't able to get anything done there. No follow up stuns, no disruption. And now Empire. They have stuns. And they want this. Blow Your Brain hiding behind the trees. They can't want this anymore. 3D Max is already out of range. Backing out. And that will be uh, that one failed as it looks like we might still see an aggressive trial lane here. Queen of Pain has uh, moved the towards the middle uh, towards the mid lane. Probably. Is he gonna move towards the bottom lane? Looks like it. Has to Joe Rutten taking the bottom lane for once. It means that Ace will be on the dark here against the Templar Assassin. In the meantime, from the high ground, here here they come. Goblek like though sees them. Can they do it? Pay up on the Shadow Demon, waited too long with the disruption. Silence is gonna get uh, blocked here slightly. Nobody else to follow up on, just harassment. A lot of harassment early game though. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be dangerous. I mean, yeah, there's a there's an anti gank, but it's ah. Uh, well, I don't want to be making any predictions that uh, that won't hold up. I would. S we're just gonna have to wait and see how this lane's gonna be holding out. I do think though, this top lane is gonna be the one that's uh, potential to uh, get a first blood ice path by clicks. But like I said, there's no follow up stun. A lot of harassment going through though already with that loose ah. Oh. With that Lunar Blessing, more attack power, like attack damage increased by 14. That's a lot of attack damage extra. As, uh, w imagine that with a Soul Catcher on there. As now Goblack also feels the need to be here on the lane. On the bias, Sven is not going to be happy. Sven already used his self. Only has three tangos left now. It, At the same time, you see the potential also from Empire. Stun upon stun upon stun. That thou shall not cast or walk or do anything at all, actually. But yeah, both Funnick and Asa Joe should be okay. Both have an escape mechanism. It's gonna be Funnick that's a bit of the downside, of course, on this lane. But should be okay in the meantime. Ace is gonna take a lot of harassment from these side blades here. Actually, has to run now. No nope, side blades with that one, even though Scandal did try. But only one Tango left on the side of Ace, so he'll have to be careful. And it might actually have to go back. As the courier is now actually bringing him something. Ice Pad locks on too. There is a Luzon beating upon Luna, but she doesn't want to use it just yet. None unless she knows that it's gonna be worth it. Stun, lands, Lushrek stun, gonna follow up, hits on Noya, and there's a disruption, helping out, Ice Pad, Lux on Blower Brain, now the counter initiation, can they do something, dual breath, lose and beam, can they fight it, it's the first blood that gives the bounty hunter actually that drops, the one that wasn't supposed to drop, and blow your brain, They're getting himself out of there, lose and beam, not doing enough anymore, Ice Pad though, not gonna hit, he walks around it, Lushrek stun, also missed, and that's gonna be that, no, uh, no one going down to the top lane, but Queen of Pain, picking up the bounty hunter and bounty hunter, I just said nobody should die because both have an escape mechanism and there's no wards here. So that scream just went through invisibility on, on Phonic, but that should not happen. Phonic should not be the one to die. He did though, but he did. As we are gonna probably see a Janata going through there. If you can. Nope, I actually missed his Janata. There it goes. That's the Janata and blinks away. In the meantime, top lane. Lane is pushing in. The more experience for, uh, for Noya here, of course. The main difference here is, uh, or should be, the fact that the supports from Empire should be getting golden experience in the jungle. And while the supports from, uh, from 3D Max are just having to share everything with their, uh, with their carry. Level 2 upon the Luna, level 2 upon the Sven. Still very even for now, basically due, due to those wards. This is going to be the first uh, creeps that they stacked, actually. So it will be some extra experience for their supports indeed, unless 3D Max can steal them. It's of course something that we're going to have to wait and see. Ice path, losing beam, the Shrek gonna be the target, there's the disruption. You cannot go in on it though. And that's uh, level 1 still, no level 2 upon the Shadow Demon. 
And that's just harassment of another Shrek. Well, the Shrek is out of regions. So that will be uh, so that will be a good target to take on next. Of course, Sven, I mean, yeah, he's pretty tanky, so no go on him. Not for you. Maybe a secondary target once they baited him out into doing something that he shouldn't have if they weren't, were going to go on him, maybe. As we have the last hit, 13 for 2 upon the Luna. While Sven is at 5 for 2, I mean, melee versus range. Not going to be ideal. Three ranged heroes here on the top lane for uh, 3D Max with only one. Only the Shrek on the dire side for Empire. As ace level 5, 14 last hits for him. A scandal has been forced away. 18 for 5, so very even in his middle lane. We've seen both being, for both being forced away before up on very low HP. Clarity poses up on Nyx Assassin. Got one pulled also. So your brain giving him his. Probably just to hold it until he has an inventory slot again, but for now he doesn't need it. I like this. Hours. There, there's actually trees being cleared out right here by 3D Max. Extra vision for them. No one shall hide to give experience there. And will 3D Max go again? I mean, the creep wave is going to be pushed out again shortly. And there we go. Creep wave is there, but no, they're not going to go in. This last hits is the word. For now, until there is an ice path. Sorry, I'm just sticking around here. Ice path? Disruption? Come on, ice path! And there's a sun though, ice path still hit. Jakiro is going to be taken down by Sven, perhaps. As the soul catcher is on upon the Lashrek, but nice set up on Noya. Lashrek still goes down. No, Noya has to run away. There's a dual breath slowing down, blow your brain. There's a losing beat as, as well. Self being up on Noya. Now it's blow your brain. It's going to be the time, and he will go down. And that's 3D Max getting the experience on the top lane, getting the advantage with that. And the only one that didn't die was Goblack. Who didn't have any mana anymore to be involved in that fight. He's of course a very low mana hero. Now uses his clarity to keep back up again. Just in case they go. But Lashrak and Sven going down. The Sven's still not coming in time to stop Shakira from casting his ice pad to lock in the Lashrak. And the ice pad locking in Blow Your Brain on turn. When he tried to take down uh, Noya. But the dual breath. I mean, I'm mean, i just going to say. no. I, I mean, Shakira everywhere. Dual breaths, ice pads. Ice paths, I know it's English, but that's uh, gonna be the MVP Radiance of this fight for sure. As we have got still Queen of Pain, has still got the advance in the mid lane, two levels higher than uh, Phonic right here, one and a half level even, as Phonic is playing with fire, being so close to uh, a full Scream of Pain sp skilled Queen of Pain, as Queen of Pain goes towards the top lane where Shadow Demon already went down to uh, the Nyx Assassin. But Queen of Pain, she should have her Sonic Wave soon. No, she doesn't. Actually, uses her bottle charges. Ice path, not gonna hit anything. Just pushing out the lane slightly. Queen of Pain now shows herself. Blinks in, screams, doesn't hit, but right clicks does. And that's gonna be a kill. Should be getting a kill. No, getting stunned up. Follow up stun there as well. It is, has to Joe Rotten, has to back out. Lands a scream, can still blink. It is Jakiro that still gets a kill off on the Shrek from the side. And Jakiro is now getting chased down by Goblack. No boots on either side. Disruption will help as Sven still goes down to Hesajo Rotten. And now Goblack is gonna try to get away. Hesajo Rotten gonna come in from the side. Doesn't have any mana anymore and actually backs out. Doesn't want to go on this anymore. Si Silence stay alive there. And that's gonna be uh, the Sven being the one to take a dive. And Lashrak, of course, also dying. So again, two heroes down. Again, Goblack staying alive. But the only hero that Empire took down yet is Shadow Demon, the one on the top lane also. As Ace, gonna search himself away from the CA. Face boots up on Templar Assassin as well. And that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for her. 29 for 9 last hits. Highest up on last hits, but it's even. It's even with Ace, because he also got 29 for 4. Radiance bottom tower. As we have got bottom tower getting arrested. I mean, uh, the Queen of Pain leaving the lane gave Phonic some time to get some free experience and gold. He's now level 7, so let the track kills begin, I'd say. But 3D Max up against a team that likes to dominate laning stages. Sonic Wave, second, oh, goes down! Has to your run and pick up the kill. So, yeah, up against a team that, that likes to dominate laning stages, not able to dominate their laning stage. 3D Max Dyer's showing great performance right here. As Phonic is gonna scout out some people. Doesn't have any support with him as we have got an ice bath up on Silent, the Shrek. Gonna be going down. No surprise there. Goblack though, gonna try to do it again. He still hasn't died yet. He wants to keep it that way. So runs away from that one as the, the Warcry goes up. And it's actually. That's not something that you don't see every day. Blow your brain. Full HP. 
almost full mana, does not go in for a stun on any of the supports. Even not the Hayek that was so very low. He doesn't want to risk it. It's just the state of the state of the game right now. Invisibility up on Bounty Hunter with a double damage rune as well. He's got tracks. But it will be Hayek that's already back, so he can't kill off the Jakiro anymore. Let's see if they can kill Noya. I did say she was considered a glass cannon. Glass cannon going for a uh, for a drum spell looks of it. Kind of face boost, bought something. Magic stick. From the side, Bounty Hunter changed his mind, going mid instead. Ace gonna be the target. Iron Shells, ooh, Janada, and that's him showing himself. Track still goes off with Dark Sea, will not be uh, going in there again. Talking about going in, 3D Max, they want to. Shadow Poison going through, keeping taps of where Goblack is at. And for now, they know the lane is going to be slightly pushed. So they will be uh, moving back a bit. And we'll probably try to go for something else again shortly. Because we have got A still tracked. He doesn't care that he's being seen though. He wants to get go for Scandal. Trap going through. Iron Shell is up now. And Scandal instantly backs off again. Slowing down Ace as he goes. As it's the, now the race goes on for the rune. Trap could still be there, but ah, yeah, he's will still get it though. Melt them is going through in the meantime. It is a top lane that Bounty Hunter is like, or bottom lane actually. Wow. Do I say bottom lane? Bounty Hunter just got picked up in the middle of nowhere as we have Shadow Demon. This is the top lane. This is the track going down. Again, even. Empire, the team that we've seen dominating two games in a row, is uh, being shut down hard on lanes here. Can they continue though? Absolutely. Can they continue with this? Stun hits, Ice Path doesn't hit. Blow your brain, already on the way out. Blow your brain. I'm just gonna take a, take a look at the net worth. He is uh, lower than the solo laning Bounty Hunter, who also died twice. Templar Assassin, gonna be back out. TP in from the Bounty Hunter. Gonna track up on Ace maybe. Genatus. He wants to. Need some support, and here it comes. Gonna be the Sven. Coming in. Ace knows that though. There it is, and here comes the sun as well. Track up, Queen of Pain coming in. Sonic Wave, blow your brain! Shadow Strike needs to TP out, it's not gonna be in time, or is it? No, it is not! Blow your brain drops! And now Bounty Hunter knows he's still at risk, he has to get away from that one. What a counter gank! What a counter gank! And that's the ward, doing his work! As the disruption goes off, Soul Catcher as well, Queen of Pain coming in as well. Here comes the losing beam and the screen finishes him off. Has a Joe Rodden mega kill. And this is just going from bad to worse for Empire. Going towards the 5k in favor of 3D Max. 4k in experience, of course, still. They have a spend. Anything can happen. I only if they can get some gold up. And that's the question. So far, 3D Max is trying to do a good job. The moment they leave Empire alone, though, it could go bad for them. Because, I mean, they're getting kills, yes, but they're not getting that much in return for their kills. I mean, they have got the Tier 1 tower. But that's it. Only one Tier 1 tower. As I'm just going to drink some water while uh, we wait for the pause to go off. We'll wait for the lag to disappear from Hayek. There we go. Wow, timing. Regeneration. The go go is the moment I put the bottle down. Under attack. The center it was placed, of course, to scout out the bounty hunter. As it's gonna be mid lane, it's gonna be having some action going off. TA, Sven, Goblin going towards bottom lane, mid lane. Lightning going through. Passage of Rotten does not have a sonic wave. Ace does not spec his uh, Dark Sea Wall. Bounty Hunter coming in as well. The three versus five soon. Passage of Rotten decides, okay, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to TP out. And with that, also Empire backs off, knowing that 3D Max would not overextend. As Luna is just still farming on the top lane. 
highest up on farm right now, together with the uh, with Ace. Even though right now she buys something, it's gonna be the start of her BKB by the looks of it. No, that's actually the start of the BKB for the Queen of Pain. It's the ar the um, drum set's complete there for the Lunar. Demonic purge scandal. Traps going off, TP's going in, vacuum back in, who's in beam, can they get him? Seven one is there, the stun is not hitting, and it's Phonic that should be getting away from that one. Yep, it is indeed safe. More tracks going off. So I don't know, he's still around there, someone, just somewhere, just waiting up on the high ground. Center words everywhere. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. No, Luna. Level 8 versus level 8. Glass cannon versus burst damage. And there's gonna be a, a, a Nyx Assassin coming in from the front. And he's just gonna run there. There he goes. Track is up. Sixers being used. And there is TP incoming from. More. Oh, wow. More supports Goblack actually. TP's got uh, got the got cancelled. Goblack coming in there and there's a dust being used. Now they want them. They want revenge. No, no, do not take our carry. They say Hayek picks up. Funny. The Goblack trying to force his way out. Cannot do it. Unstoppable has to Joe Rotten. <laughs> well, TP skips late. Luna go Luna goes down. Second kill up on Empire and a good one at that. But is it worth losing two heroes for? Not sure. It was a track kill though. Hmm. Wow. Um, by the way, I uh, am not a biased guest. I'm just surprised that Empire is not able to hold their own right now. As we have seen two games from them for very strong, strong performances. This game, not able to do it yet. I mean, we've seen things from Sven. We've seen things from Blow Your Brain. And he can do it. He can turn tides around if he gets far. If he gets farm, if only he got that. Word's gonna be placed, let's track. Ooh, disruption first. So we'll catch her as well. Here comes the, the Jakiro as well. Demonic Purge slows him down. The Shrek's done, not gonna hit. And here comes Queen of Pain shouting. Sonic Wave hit, and that's Queen of Pain picking up a kill in the meantime, though. Luna taking care as well, and this was a track kill where nobody had to die for it. It was uh, the Sven that picks up the kill. And gold for three people for Go Black, Bounty Hunters, and Blow Your Brain. Dyer's top tower so that's gonna be uh, at least Luna also being shut down on the side of 3D Max. With now only Darkseer still highest up on the list for 3D Max on the gold graph who's going for... <sighs> Why is he talking all chat? Who's going for... Uh, bottom tower of course. Attack. A mechanism. Why did they talk in all chat, really? An agreement. By the way, in case you're wondering who that were, um, there is also an English cast, uh, another English cast going off for this game. It is Epi that's casting on own TV, so you can check that out if you want to. As apparently that caster likes to talk in old chat. Iron shells, not going to be doing that much. Invisibility run up on si up on uh, scandal. Going to try to to do something to Ace perhaps. Fortified. Too risky. Luna showing himself. Track. Do not lose Luna again. Vacuum in. Eclipse. Now Luna trying to stay alive. Melt damage. Not going to be enough. 70 HP. Will be able to stay alive as Queen of Pain comes in. Silence is going to be the target. There will be. Queen of Pain has got mana. It's not that much mana though. One more right click will do the job. And on the side, it will still be Templar Sutton that went down to Hawaii. Oh, actually. Central were being used for that one. Two kills going the way of 3D Max again. And now it's gonna be Goblack with a Vendetta looking for a target, looking of course for maybe still the Luna, but Luna's no longer there and Queen of Pain will blink away. Goblack not able to do anything here. Goblack, who's got mana boots, he's got seven on a gold. Of course he's been playing as support, but out of the three kills he's been in all three so far. He's even got two last hits up on those. Maybe they're gonna try to take down that ice path. Hit some loader brain though. Hayek gonna be the target. There's gonna be mana boots being used. Here comes Ace. There's the impale being used. Here comes the stun as well. Mana burned. But there's the stun. It's still gonna be there. Yes, it is. Ice path locks in too though. Ace can't surge himself away. He's gonna do that. Dual breath slows him down. There's a courier in the midst of all of this. Denada doesn't get him yet. 18 HP left. There's the surge for the courier helping out. A courier. Oh, why are you standing still? Do not stand still, courier. Go black. 
Tower hitting, Queen of Pain hitting, and that should be killing Peel. Still going off, but it, Queen of Pain still has all her mana, gets surged up actually, and is gonna be able to just one hit away, get the kill. Godlike has to do a run and hasn't died yet. Nine for zero for four. Agony. And as I would definitely say that has to do a rotten Queen of Pain is his signature hero. We have seen him playing that so often before. Oh, scream Sonic Babe. What was I saying? Triple kill as to Joe Rutten. As the uh, Ace is still getting found out there, but Scandal locks himself in and then if it or gets himself an inside and uh, melt, but I mean shells, sure can toss it, uh, it doesn't do anything anymore. Trash goes off, but it's still gonna be a kill. Queen of Pain, ultra kill. With the only one left alive on that Funnic. On his bounty hunter. Tower now getting taken down. This is the second uh, third tower going down. All the tier three tower tier one towers are down. With uh, 3D Max still having all their towers, actually. TP incoming. TP cancel. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Let's try. Now Funic tries to do something. There comes the TP in, and he actually comes here, blowing your brain. He wants to be here. As uh, Hayek finds uh, Funic, or all the way around, rather. Tracks going off. Here comes I Ace as well, though. There comes the surge up on Hayek. Nice Ice Path. Here comes the Luna. Can they do something? Do they have dust? They don't, so they will back off. He goes invisible and he actually got help from the Sven also who came around to try and say hi. As the gold grab goes towards the 10k. I'm still thinking that the Sven could easily turn everything around if he just gets his gold up. But Sven, not having his gold up, uses his stun to get the last hits even. But that's worth the mana. Let's get all those last hits going. Noya in the meantime still building towards his BKB. We have got Queen of Pain already having her BKB complete, also has a gem of truth set now. Bounty on Trophonic not having a fun time. And that is not good. For him, that is. For uh, 3D Max it's actually quite nice. So they are having a great game against the number one of oh, alleged number one of Europe. The number one in the star ladder, based on the win rate percentage, that's for sure. Oh, did I say that properly? No, 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 no. There's others that have the same. Uh, there's others that have the same. So if Empire wins this, they would be on par with uh, Navi and Mouse Sports. If they lose this, there'll be uh, one win behind them what with the same amount of games. Track going off. No, yeah, it's gotta be the kill. Jinada going through Ice Bat, Locks in Phonic. There's a demonic purge well, do breath going through and that's gonna be a kill. Luna picking it up. Central Ward doing the job. Queen of Pain actually also there with the gem of Crusade, of course. It's uh, Dominance from 3D Max. And may I just point out that we're gonna see another 3D Max game after this one against Sven Hunters, the team that we have seen uh, making a comeback after merging together. Uh, Evo and uh, Fubar merging together as one Swedish team. Shadow Poison trying to scout out where people are. Not latching on the last track. In the face. Jumping in. Harassing side on the way. They want this tower without any fights. Goblin in there as well though. He can go invisible if he wants to, but there is a gem of truth that he has to be very careful. In the meantime, tier one tower also getting taken down to tier two top. I mean as the TP from Ace goes towards the bottom lane, they don't want to lose any towers for themselves. Use the fortification. And that's gonna be uh, that defended. As the rest of his team will take care of the tier two tower top. And all Empire can do farm up this guy. Dyer's top tower and in the meantime, fallen. I mean, you pick up a bounty hunter because you want to make sure that you get the kills and make them into track kills, get extra gold for your team. But there's been four kills, and yes, there's been track kills, two even. Maybe three. That's funny, uh, of course, the track doesn't count as, as an assist if he wasn't able to hit it. Oh, Dark's here. Wow, Sven, what are you doing there? You see people coming towards you. I really didn't think he would let himself get caught out like that. Blow your brain. Getting shot down in his farm and kills all over the map. As Bounty Hunter, another track kill that was. Jakiro going down by himself. Also, he was out of position. Fortification goes off on the last tier 2 tower. Standing on the side of 3D Max. After this, it is Roshan or tier 3 towers to get their gold advantage coming. Continuing to come. As the surge is up, Shadow Poison does not reach Funny Queen of Pain though. He sees him. Vacuum doesn't hit him and he backs off and he is safe. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. As in the meantime, Middle Tower gets harassed here by Scandal, who blinks away again or runs away. So he doesn't have a blink yet. Might be going for it just now. Mana boots, maybe? Shadow Demon? Indeed. Gonna be the case. 
Making sure that he doesn't have to back off for mana and helps the team at the, along the way as well. And the jungle is the place where Empire is farming right now. 15k gold behind. 15k experience behind. And if we take a look at what that means for the levels, we see the Dark Sea are very high there. Dark Sea hasn't died yet. Who's been in 7 out of the 22 kills. He was of course in the mid lane and they find Funic. They need a Shadow Strike, Vacuum doesn't hit it, and again Funic too fast. Maybe Roshan is gonna be now. So the exclamation mark comes off from that one. And with that one I mean actually Queen of Pain. For that one, on the Roshan, that is. Shadow Strikes. By the way, in case you're wondering why don't the illusion disappear, it's because they don't attack. They will disappear when you attack. But if they if you close them close to if you place them close to the Roshan, then they will be able to tank up the Roshan for a short while. And then you can do that. You will still die fairly fast though, but at least there. Uh wow, Sheep has gone already up for uh, ace on twenty four minutes in. Message of Rotten has gone anything since the last time he picked something up, still got seventeen on the goal. As uh, I don't think that Empire can do anything against this. It's too risky. And still, uh, maybe a Dagon being built still by the Nyx. Fairly late Dagon it will be though. Oh, God Black, what are you doing? Vendana being used by the Gem of Truth that is there! And that's gonna be him! Trying to take down Ace before he goes down, but he still goes down first! And Ace is up on the Luna now. And they find a, sh a Scan who tries to Shadow Strike out of that one. Or sorry, tries to TP out of that one. We'll be able to do so. And that's gonna be uh, 3D Max with an Aegis, with the advantage, with one hero down on Empire. Maybe to try to take down some damage on a tier 3 tower mid. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And that's gonna be, uh, maybe not the tower going down, yet. But it's gonna be taking some damage here. And they just run out the high ground. Queen of Pain blinking in vacuum in Lashrak. Already goes down. Gem of Truce I dropped. And that will be probably picked up. Yeah, there's a Shadow Demon picking up his gem. And the gem was only just there. As we have got them just trying to bash on the tower. They can do this. There is a mana leak. There's a BKB. And the Eclipse. But below your brain. Gonna try to get away. But won't be able to do so. Or will he? No, he won't. Vacuum in. Queen of Pain actually takes the last hit. Shiva's guard being used, and now with the carry being gone on Empire, can they still do something? And Pale still going through, but it will be Goblack that will probably drop from the dots from the Jakiro, and indeed Hayek picks up the kill. Tracks going off, but what good does that, does that do? No good at all. Barracks will drop. One Rex, two Rex, it's 3D Max. All they lose is half the HP of the Queen of Pain and some mana. That's it, the GG well plays goes out and, and Empire know, knows when they're beat. 3D Max taking a very convincing game against Empire. The fan favorite probably for this match. But 3D Max too powerful, too strong. And we will be seeing another game with them in just a moment. 3D Max against Sven Hunters is going to come up on this channel for Star Ladder Season 4 as well. Three points going away for 3D Max. The next game might be... Uh, it might be slightly after this, depends though, uh, depends on Sven Hunters as uh, the official starting time isn't until 25 minutes from now. But we'll find out soon enough. As uh, you can stay tuned on this channel to find out that. My name is Shiver, by the way, I'm a Ghost of Gamers caster. If you want to su support me, please subscribe to my YouTube on youtube.com slash Shiver Gaming. And um, yeah, that's about all I want to say. So thank you for watching and uh, be as well stay tuned for more action. Because we're going to see another game with 3D Max. The new and upcoming, well not new, but the upcoming team for sure. For sure. And uh, there we go. Gonna let you see the end screen for a second longer. That trial and we're really working out for 3D Max. And here is, uh, yeah, here's uh, the outro. Let's go.